My name is Chris Pearce and I'm a Professor of Engineering at the University of Glasgow where I hold the Royal Academy of Engineering EDF Research Chair in Computational Mechanics and I lead a research group within the Glasgow Computational Engineering Centre. My group and I specialise in the development of software for the computer analysis of complex engineering problems. We combine theoretical developments in engineering mechanics and mathematical modelling with the latest advances in scientific computing and software engineering. Our work with EDF has focused on a new approach for the computer simulation of structural integrity, and in particular crack propagation within the aggressive environment of the reactor core of nuclear power stations. Each of the twin reactor cores of the UK's fleet of advanced gas-cooled reactors comprise about 3,000 graphite bricks. These are arranged into approximately 250 vertical cylindrical channels within which the nuclear fuel is housed. Each reactor is also contained within a large concrete pressure vessel. Long-term exposure of the graphite bricks to a reactor's aggressive environment leads to gradual changes in geometry, ageing of the material and the development of complex internal forces that can lead to fracture in some of the bricks. EDF have long predicted the presence of these cracks as part of the ageing process. However, since the real environment of reactor cores cannot be replicated experimentally and inspections are limited, Computer modelling and simulation can provide precise insight into the effects of ageing on the development of these cracks. In the absence of any other software able to deal with this complex situation, my group has been working closely with EDF to undertake a programme of research into the mechanics of fracture in nuclear graphite, as well as translating this into state-of-the-art software and simulation capability. Our software MoFem provides EDF's engineers with a critical tool for understanding, assessing and predicting the complexity of crack development in the nuclear graphite bricks of the reactor core. This helps EDF to explore future scenarios and challenges, support the development of mitigating actions long before structural integrity is compromised, and help in the decision making about the ongoing safe operation of the reactors. Our software MoFem has been through several years of development and testing and independent validation. It builds on several key theoretical, numerical and technological developments that we have published in scientific journals. MoFem itself is open source software, which means that it can be freely accessed and scrutinised and can be used by engineers and scientists across the world. This first animation shows the very complex nature of crack propagation in nuclear graphite that we are able to simulate with our analysis capability. This next animation of a crack propagation in nuclear graphite is compared with a laboratory experiment. And this final animation shows the development of a vertical crack in a single graphite brick as a result of ageing, and which closely matches the kinds of cracks observed in the oldest power stations during routine inspection. The cracks are just millimetres wide, but are exaggerated here for the purposes of visualisation. More information on our research and our software can be found at this website. I would like to thank my research group at the University of Glasgow and EDF and the Royal Academy of Engineering for their support of our research. Thank you.